Good morning. Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida, on this Tuesday, the 17th of August, 2021. My name is Levy Anderson, and I am a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office Team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. This service is now streamed live exclusively on Zoom, and we are now on summer schedule, streaming on Tuesdays and Thursdays only, except when there is a feast day that's moved to a Monday or a Friday. To participate in the live service, go to goodsheponline.org, click on prayer and study. Scroll down, you'll find the service leaflet for today's service. Just look for today's date. Immediately above the surface leaflets, there's an image of prayer books in the pews. Click on the link to join via Zoom. This service will be available beginning at 10 a.m. on all Good Shepherd's communication channels, Facebook, YouTube, and the prayer and study page of goodsheponline.org. So good morning, Pete and Julie, and good morning, Carol and Ian. Good to have everyone with us this morning. Good morning, Joan. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Let us say together the Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. The Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 121, 122, and 123. We'll say the Psalms in unison with a slight break in between each Psalm. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. 
so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is at unity with itself, to which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, the assembly of Israel, to praise the name of the Lord. For there are the thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and quietness within your towers. For my brethren and companions' sake, I pray for your prosperity. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek to do you good. To you I lift up my eyes, to you enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of servants look to the hand of their masters, and the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, until he show us his mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy, for we have more than enough of contempt. Too much of the scorn of the indolent rich and the derision of the proud. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Our first lesson this morning is from the second book of Samuel. Absalom happened to meet the servants of David. Absalom was riding his, on his mule, and the mule went under the thick branches of a great oak. His head caught fast in the oak, and he was left hanging between heaven and earth, while the mule that was under him went on. A man saw it and told Joab, I saw Absalom hanging in the oak, Joab said to the man who told him, What? You saw him? Why then did you not strike him there to the ground? I would have been glad to give you 10 pieces of silver and a belt. But the man said to Joab, even if I felt in my hand the weight of a thousand pieces of silver, I would not raise my hand against the king's son. For in our hearing, the king commanded you and Abishai and Ittai saying, for my sake, protect the young man, Absalom. On the other hand, if I had dealt treacherously against his life, and there is nothing hidden from the king, then you yourself would have stood aloof. Joab said, I will not waste time like this with you. He took three spears in his hand and thrust them into the heart of Absalom while he was still alive in the oak. And 10 young men, Joab's armor bearers, surrounded Absalom and struck him and killed him. Then Joab sounded the trumpet and the troops came back from pursuing Israel for Joab restrained the troops. They took Absalom, threw him into a great pit in the forest and raised over him a very great heap of stones. Meanwhile, all the Israelites fled to their homes. Now Absalom in his lifetime had taken and set up for himself a pillar that is in the king's valley. For he said, I have no son to keep my name in remembrance. He called the pillar by its own name. He called, it is called Absalom's monument to this day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. 
call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts and let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion to our God for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts nor your ways my ways says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that for which I purposed the perp and in prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles. In the morning, the Jews joined in a conspiracy and bound themselves by an oath neither to eat nor drink until they had killed Paul. There were more than 40 who joined in this conspiracy. They went to the chief priests and, el <clears throat> and elders and said, we have strictly bound ourselves by an oath to taste no food until we have killed Paul. Now then, you and the council must notify the tribune to bring him down to you on the pretext that you want to make a more thorough examination of his case and we are ready to do away with him before he arrives. Now the son of Paul's sister heard about the ambush. So he went and gained entrance to the barracks and told Paul. Paul called one of the centurions and said, take this young man to the tribune for he has something to report to him. So he took him, brought him to the tribune and said, the prisoner Paul called me and asked me to bring this young man to you. He has something to tell you. The tribune took him by the hand, drew him aside privately and asked, what is it that you have to report to me? He answered, the Jews have agreed to bring Paul, to ask you to bring Paul down to the council tomorrow, as though they were going to inquire more thoroughly into his case. But do not be persuaded by them, for more than 40 of their men are lying in ambush for him. They have bound themselves by an oath, neither to eat nor drink until they kill him. They are ready now and are waiting for your consent. So the tribune dismissed the young man, ordering him, tell no one that you have informed me of this. Then he summoned two of the centurions and said, get ready to leave by nine o'clock tonight for Caesarea, with 200 soldiers, 70 horsemen, and 200 spearmen. Also provide mounts for Paul to ride and take him safely to Felix, the governor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say our last canticle, you are God, together in unison. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white armed robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only son, worthy of all worship and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, 
the eternal son of the father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. I believe, I'm sorry, let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages B. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. <clears throat> the collect appointed for today is the collect for proper 15. Almighty God, you have given your only son to be for us a sacrifice for sin and also an example of godly life. Give us grace to receive thankfully the fruits of his redeeming work and to follow daily in the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A Collect for Grace. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> A collect for the mission of Good Shepherd. Loving God, you sent your only son, Jesus Christ, that we might have hope of eternal life and the Holy Spirit to sustain us in our faith in you. Give us grace to be a beacon of faith, hope, and love in this community that we may radiate the transforming power of your love to everyone everywhere who live and reign together, one God forever and ever. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ and particularly those throughout the Anglican communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Eau Claire Episcopal, the Reverend William J. Lambert Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, 
the Right Reverend Peter Eaton. And our companion diocese, <clears throat> remembering today especially the Diocese of the Dominican Republic, the Right Reverend Moises Quezada Mota Bishop. A prayer for mission. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Martin, Shirley, Mark, Robert, Alan, Cindy, Joe and Connie, Ruth, Mary Jean, Carter and family, Scotty, Joseph, Lynn, Rachel, George, Nolan, Susan, Mary, Sherry, Drew, and John. We pray also for our Connect Ministries, remembering especially a taste of Good Shepherd. <coughs> Excuse me. A taste of Good Shepherd that our members may come together to share, celebrate, and promote their ministries and the Bridge Club that members of Good Shepherd may gather to enjoy a fun and intellectually stimulating pastime. Our Good Shepherd Parish Prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, make our parish of Good Shepherd truly a community of prayer and belonging. Raise up in our midst the resources and leadership, which will enable us to act upon what you would have us do in this place and in a ministry of love and concern for others. Open my mind and heart to discern what you would have me do through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. Thank you, Ian. We continue to pray for the people of Haiti, especially all those affected by the recent earthquake and tropical storm grace. Um, I would also ask your prayers for um, all the people in Afghanistan who are suffering now and um, hope for their safety. I also would like to pray for our friend Sandra, who's in a transition period right now. She um, <clears throat> had to move out of her house uh, for a short time because um, she's having her floors refinished because of a water leak that had has had wreaked havoc on her house, but she's doing very well. And we'll pray for Charlotte, whose birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, Charlotte. And let us continue to pray for parents, children, teachers, staff, anyone who is um, working with children in the school systems that they may go smoothly and hopefully not have COVID cases in the school system, especially here at our school at Good Shepherd. Let us say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love 
in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope everyone has a blessed day. Go forth and have be, be kind to your neighbors. Have a wonderful, wonderful week as well. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.